Yeah. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of Monday Nitro. I'm Tony Shimano, the living legend Larry Zabisco, for the hottest hour of professional wrestling on the airwaves. Monday Nitro today, in what promises to be the greatest night in the history of our great sport, we're gonna go talk to Lord Gosh Darn Diddledy Doogledy British, who's gonna up our game to level five. So let's go ahead and talk to the man. Welcome back, Mom. I know you had hardships on this journey. Because you have done so well, I'll give you more power. On its, fa on its face, it seems quite ridiculous because, like, why didn't you just give us a lot of power? You need us to go kill Exodus. Like, why are you, like, holding out on us and how much power you're giving us? What a butthole. Anyway, whatever. By the way, if you look up, like, Ultima No Knife, and it means something in Japanese, of course, it doesn't mean anything to me, uh, but there's this adorable song uh, sang by this Japanese artist to this like tune. It is like completely rad. So what I'm going to tell you good folks, you very nice people, is that now our maximum hit points are 550. But it does absolutely nothing for our actual power. Am I on my horse again? Oh, I want to hear that song. So it does nothing for our, our actual power and nothing for... Um, like, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing for our power. And nothing for... No, that's all I wanted to say, really. And also, just give us our thing. Please destroy X. I didn't talk to these guys. I'm conscious of that now, so let me go ahead and talk to these guys. Are you descendants of Link? I'm sure that was added for the NES because Link didn't exist in 1983. Travel all over the world, into the ground, into the forest, and into the sea and the islands. That's not helpful, jerk. I was going to do that anyway. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so so our next goal, we're going to go to a city called uh, Fawn. It's nowhere near as useful. Nowhere near as useful as the other town we're at. So, you know, whatevs. But we're going to go there. Now, the enemy's going to be tougher, and we're not. Oh, the other thing, I'll show you this real, real quick. Right quick. I got the silver bow, okay? Uh, she's the only one who can use it. Now see that whirlpool? That's the key to salvation. See these guys? They're the wimpy guys. They're fine. These guys now look so wimpy, we don't want to fight them. Now I already have a ship. I guess I should probably fight pirates, but you're going to see me fight pirates later anyway. Okay, so this is like Devil Guard or Devil Gulch. I only stepped in there because I don't want to run into monsters. All right. Basically, I'm trying to get it to reset so I don't get into fights as soon as I get on my boat. And here we go. So the world is kind of ours in a way now. Kind of and kind of not. The problem is that even though... Oh, gosh darn it, get in the boat. The problem is that even though we have a boat right now, the enemies are like... Too strong for us, kind of. I mean, I can wail on them with a silver bow. But the fact that I have all wizards is not good. Because my wizards right now are total candy rear ends. Okay, if you know what I'm saying. My kids are here. I try not to curse too much. Not like my kids aren't always... I mean, the, my kids are in the room. I don't mean like... I mean, we're not divorced. My, my wife and I to where the kids are here this weekend. Because obviously, if only the kids for a weekend, I wouldn't be playing this silly game when they were here. That would be terrible. Um, but I don't want to... Okay, you get it. Anyway, okay. So anyway, here we are in Fawn. It's a town. Welcome to Fawn. Thanks. I'm going to get off my damn horses. Yeah, I always thought the towns that had these guards, as opposed to those red, nasty-looking guards, were nicer towns. Are you looking for the Mystic Sword? Sure. They say it is somewhere on the sea. On the sea? That's not a proper preposition. I don't know anything about the strong armor. So, you know, it's not helpful, dude. Welcome to Fawn. Okay, I already talked to the sound post, their sign post guy. Is it true that Exodus will come here soon? Mm -hmm. What do I look like? Some kind of rocket? Ship? I'll get that off you, some butthead. I'm on my way to the temple. That reminds me on Soap when, uh, uh, Jessica, no, not Jessica, somebody said that, uh, yeah, Leslie shot Saunders in the temple. And then he said, oh, I didn't know he was Jewish. <laughs> that was pretty funny. The food here is really tasty. 
Of course, it's no more tasty than anywhere else. One second, let me look at some. Oh, everybody's got a lot of money, by the way. How did I do that? Well, I'll show you how I did it, but basically I took my good party and did some real exploring and some toughening up. Now, level five, and you see our hit points are finally going up. We do need some food, though. So I'm gonna have Zuli spend some cash money dollars here to make sure that we don't die on our next expedition. Okay, and she doesn't need as many, uh, she doesn't need as much, uh, what's the word for it? As much gold as, uh, like what's her name needs a lot of gold. Okay, this is a hospital, it's not too useful. Okay, but we're about to do the most important thing in the game. Like without doing this, I, I don't know how the heck you would beat this game if you didn't do this. Unless, I guess you could have a party of like, Four fighters with uh, silver bows, maybe? Promise not to forget about me. I won't. I think somebody else told us that too. Um, in another town. So I think they're recycling conversations. They're recycling tidbits there. And the funny part is that girl also did not tell me her name. Now I remember from watching Spoonie's video. I watched it a while back. And he said that this town had an unguarded treasury. There's no guards here. But it, at least if it is true on the other one, it's not true on this one. Uh, there is a pl stop playing this game and go to bed. But it's the afternoon. That's pretty funny, but it's a fine day for washing. Gosh darn it, you're the third person to say it's a fine day for washing. Jeez. I mean, what is up with this place? We've got women just walking around who can't quit telling me what a good day it is to wash clothes. So who the heck are you? Is this the food place too? No, it's Guild Shop. Okay, we already bought, like, I, I'll show you, I bought a fair amount of guild items there. That should be good enough for now. We'll need more, we'll need more gems later. I never heard of the pick. Whoa. The silver pick is hidden in the dungeon of death. Wow, if you talk to him twice, he tells you something. That's funny. Maybe you gotta talk twice to a lot of these people. Maybe that's why I'm not doing well. Probably. Uh, I'll tell you a secret. We even have a casino here. At the casino, you should gamble. Alright, I lost my money again. Yeah, well. That's, that's what happens if you go to the casino, dude. I, I never gamble. It's not because I'm religious. I think I told you guys that. Okay, the mark of the snake. Here's the mark of the snake for the red snake. Fire in the sea. End of the world. Why? Wow, he's selling some of the people I see on Facebook who are calling the end of the world. Um, because of a bunch of conspiracy theories that I'm not going to repeat. Not because this video is monetized, it's not. It's just it, it burns my tongue to even say stupid crap like that. I don't know if you guys heard of the website Our Great Awakening. I was directed to it one time by a, an idiot. And uh, it's funny because, you know, it starts off with like, we are loving, we are kind. And then the whole thing is a bunch of unsubstantiated rumors about people committing pedophilia or murdering people. So, like, I don't know what's loving and kind about making unsubstantiated allegations against people of some of the worst crimes possible. Um, but what else, you know? I don't, I don't have to do the uh, ethical gymnastics uh, to justify why I, you know, um, choose to slander people with no proof. And I'm sorry, some guy told you one time. That's the that's that's Exodus right there. That's Castle Exodus. It's in those mountains. I you saw the snake. We can't get past the snake. There's a moon gate. We don't really need it. I'm looking for the whirlpool. This, this is what I'm doing right now. So we can advance. Wait, no, I don't want to do that yet. Alright, give me one sec. I gotta go look at something real quick. One moment, please. Alright, friends and neighbors. I had to look it up because I couldn't remember which. Uh, one is the gold pick, which one is the uh, silver pick. So apparently for the gold pick, the small island east of, uh, east of whatever is the one, east of gray, is the one. So that's what we're gonna do. And I use gold pick, if I miss the karma. And here's the hilarious part, is that you can just dig up four of them, don't matter. That's how he, I mean, um... So yeah, it's quite silly because uh, you you can just use it and you can get as many of these you want. Now the only thing is that the uh, town, the shopkeepers 
will not buy them from you. Uh, but there's absolutely no reason in the world to get any other armor in this game. As you saw, I just I, I showed, pretty much showed you that. That everybody just used cloth from the beginning. And uh, that was just fine and dandy now, wasn't it? Uh, because now we all have the best armor in the game. We got it absolutely for free. And it sure beats the hell out of uh, paying 8,000 freaking dollar offs or gold pieces for uh, this stupid dragon armor. I mean, like, give me a break. It's like, come on, police. Um, or whatever. Okay, now we're good. Now we're golden. Now we're the golden, the golden, the golden, golden state warriors here. I guess, whatever. Alright, here's the deal. I need to find a darn whirlpool so we get the ambrosia. Now, ambrosia is no freaking cakewalk. I tell you, I'm gonna tell you one time. Okay? And, um, it is absolutely the reverse cakewalk. And I didn't bring up a map, and that might be a good idea. But in any case, which helped. Oh, there it is. There's there's the whirlpool. All right. All right. No, I don't want to fight. Oh gosh, actually, this shouldn't be too bad because these guys are what we would call in the business candy rear ends. Um, so I'm not too worried about. It. Brigands aren't a big deal. Here's one of the big problems, though, is, uh, my warrior princess there, the paladin, old mom there, she can't hit the broad side of a barn because, uh, we do not yet have her jazzed up. Here's the thing, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda, uh, I'm not gonna cut the video off, we will continue in the next part, but I really need to get make sure my health is at max for this next part. Um... Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, you know, uh, I'll see you back in a few minutes. All right, hello, welcome, folks. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go to Ambrosia today. That is the Lost Continent. I can't remember where they tell you to go, but the point is, I think most people who beat this game honestly, of which I am not one of them, because I had magazines, too, and, and uh, I can't remember what magazine it was, but there was definitely a magazine that told you, hey, you need to get to Ambrosia, you're not gonna beat this game. And that's the absolute truth. Uh, if you don't get the Ambrosia, the game's unbeatable as far as I know. So that's okay. And there's a whirlpool. So, I mean, most people would be, I think, curious enough to sail into the darn thing. And there it is right next to Montour East and Montour West. And let's get in there. And I think this is kind of nice what they do here. Sail in. It kind of just blacks out the screen. The ship is in the whirlpool. I wonder how long it's been. And then you're taking this place, which has an awesome theme. Just listen to this theme. It's so cool. Uh, now you see that thing down there? That's a man of war. We're gonna have to fight them to get the heck out of here, I think. Well, we might have to. Oh, we can talk to that lady too. Let's go ahead and talk to her. What the hell? This is Ambrosia. That's the only person you can talk to. And I'm unashamedly using a map right now. And you might be like, well, that's shameful. Why are you unashamedly? You should be ashamedly using the map. I'm not ashamed to use the map because this place is freaking difficult, okay? Now the first place we're gonna want to go to is the Intelligence Shrine. Uh, now it's, no actually it's not the first place we're gonna go to. Now there are some nasty monsters in here, but not that many. Uh, this place is probably as big as the world map, but it's almost all forested except for the central area. Now this is a flower. We need to get it, okay? Uh, now you'll remember, uh, what was his name? Not Susie. What the hell was that woman's name? The, the lady, okay, who says next, Sherry, she said next time bring a flower. Well, we better bring a flower to her because she gives us something real sweet and we can get four of those real sweet things and it'll be a good old time. All right, so check this out. We're gonna go ahead and navigate up here. And like I said, if you try to do this without a map, which I did the first time I played it, and it was pretty tough. Uh, and I actually ran into some rather nasty monsters. I've got a few sands of time, which, you know, they stop combat, so it's quite helpful. Uh, but hopefully we won't need to do anything other than fight pirates. Which, pirates, they're kind of a pain, uh, but they're not that big of a pain. So here we are already. There's actually an inn over here, which is kind of cool if you want to switch out your party members. Yeah. 
Go ahead, have some snacks, buddy. Oh, look at this. There's like a real ship underneath that ship. But it doesn't matter. We still gotta fight him. Alright, so anyway, so here we go. We got a bunch of uh, pirates here. Peter Pan and the pirates. Uh, it's no big deal. Benny and the Jets, although I'd rather there be fewer of them, if possible. Of course, the cool thing is I have, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, the Mystic Armor. Which, like I said, does not really play a role in your uh, ability to not be, uh, to lessen damage. I don't think it does, but it, it does make more of the shots against you miss, which is kind of sweet. So, I mean, it stinks right now, but it could be a lot worse. Because we didn't run into any dragons or anything, which definitely can happen. Because before it powered up, unfortunately, we miss a lot. I mean, even though um, Mom has the silver bow, the silver bow is not more inherently more accurate. Which is rather unfortunate for all of us. And we can't get the mystic weapon, which everybody can use, until such time. And I'm just going to stay here for a minute because I want him to come up here. And that way we only have to deal with one attacker at a time. Otherwise, he'd probably just stick where he was. Uh, because he, he wouldn't take any damage. Uh, he, he get attacked to the, he can, they can attack Caddy Corner, we can't. Uh, which is rather unfair, but you know, you know, just like, uh, Tupac said, you know, only the strong survive, life isn't fair. That's a pretty good song. Um, what is it? You better holla at me, see me play, you better holla at me. Yeah, that was a pretty good song, and uh, not a very good impression of it. But I'm, I'm very happy with myself that I did it, so, you know, what else? So anyway, we'll continue on here, and doing some serious murdering. It's murder! Or uh, whatever. So anyway, um... So Ambrosia is a rough place, because you can run into some real nasty monsters. Off camera, I ran into some demons. Not, not here, but actually back home. Uh, and by back home, I mean in the regular uh, territory that I ran into demons. Demons suck because demons can hit you from anywhere. They don't have to be next to you. And it's not even like a ranged attack like our ranged attack. It's a ranged attack like... Uh, the best way to describe it is... It's like a magic spell. They're just going to hit you. It doesn't matter. You be wherever you want. They don't care. I wish I could triple surround him, but I really can't. And he's gonna, he's gonna pop the crap out of us. That's okay though. Not a big deal. Not worried about it. You can see it took me quite a bit of time to get to maximum health there. Um, basically just fighting and using heal on ourselves repeatedly. I mean, would it have killed them to put an in in the game? I mean, would it have killed them to put an in in the game where you could refill all your health? I don't know. Anyway, so you gotta get on this boat to go to the intelligence shrine. To me, this is by far the most important shrine in the game. Uh, because it allows you so many deadly magic spells that are just obscenely powerful. So let's go ahead and go across. Okay, this is there's a shrine. And we get the town music, which is kind of whatever. And luckily they do make it kind of quick here. But basically for every time you contribute to the shrine, you get one attribute point. So you can guess to get the 99 is going to take quite a while. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, you can see right now what we're at, what we're doing. We're at Intelligence uh, 25, and we're gonna bring her on up with uh, James and Jim. Shrine of Intelligence. Please donate 100 to cleanse the shrine. Thank you, can you donate another? Hey, just keep donating. And donating and donating and donating. Like I said, it's nice that they did that. The shrine should be plenty clean uh, by the time we're done with it. And here's where I get to see if I screwed up and had the wrong members of my group. Which, wouldn't that be funny? And the answer to that question is absolutely not. At least not for me. Maybe for you. You got a sick sense of humor, you jerks. Because they will allow you to spend money even if you max out your abilities. Which, you know, I guess the shrine needs its cleansing, doesn't it? Alright, so let's go ahead and just look at our progress real quick. Status. Yes, okay, good. We're moving along. So you can see, like, it's just... Our skills are just like child's play in the beginning. So, I mean, it's kind of funny just the, how you start out and how you're like, I mean, it's, it's entirely possible not to be aware 
that uh, you can do better. You know, just like being in a bad marriage. You're just not aware that you can do better. Or something. Whatever, right? Not that I'm in a bad marriage. Uh, marriage is pretty good. Uh, so anyway, I'm sorry. What the hell was I talking about? Uh, so I think we should be at 99 now. Yes, we are at 99. So, Jim, or James, whoever the second one is, let's see. Yes, he's able to use all the best spells in the game. All right, so he needs to do it 25 times, or not 25. So he, or he needs to do it 74 times instead of 25. So 74, so we need to go down to 2,000 gold with him. Cool thing is, of course, we can give the gold to other people, and we can do it. Now, we can also increase their other attributes, but of course, they have a lower ceiling. Remember, that ceiling was made by whatever race we made the guy, so they had a, uh, a limited amount of progress that they could make, you know? But, uh, yeah, this is the one part of the game that is completely necessary. Um, and, like, anything else. Like, there's no way to make up for not doing this. Which I find, uh, particularly interesting. I find it particularly... Well, no, not interesting. I just find it... My wife just got a good test on her, uh, microbiology test. Or, got a good score on a microbiology test. Good for her. Because I look forward to her working and me not working. So everybody's very happy. I mean, if mom is happy, I think everybody's gonna be happy. Probably, whatever. Anyway, so let's see what else we got. We got eight more. Eight more uh, juicy fruit uh, power-ups here. And I know this is not very interesting, but I'm just showing you what the what the score is. And I know I calculated at the start, but I didn't trust myself. Okay, nobody else really needs an upgrade in intelligence. Some other people could use it. We could do it. Now you'll see. Now we're going to wait, you know. Increase it. So anyway, I think it's a good place to cut this video though because I think we've gone on long enough uh, So next uh, stop we're gonna be going to the wisdom shrine. I think we actually need a key to get there uh, So there are a few of these fun things where we need this and that to get past uh, But yeah, the wisdom shrine which will uh, imbue our cleric with all the awesome clerical spells that she could need Okay, well anyway uh, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you for the next part. Bye-bye.